be what, 12th, 13th of July? 13th to the 15th. 13th of July, okay. My name's Pete, I'm married to B. We've got three amazing kids. Ben, Josh, Olive. We live in central London, a place called King's Cross, and we lead a church called KXC. The stuff that gets me really fired up is what's possible in and through a local church that are completely sold out for Jesus, want to give themselves to their locality, to seeing the kingdom of God break out all around them, in their schools, their universities, their workplaces, their homes, on their streets. So what, what I get frustrated by is, is when people grab a vision of church that's kind of introspective. How can we grow our numbers on a Sunday? How can we make these programs that we run as a church work more effectively? I'm like, no, got to grab a bigger vision for churches like agents of kingdom renewal across our cities, across our towns, um, in our workplaces. Um, so that's the stuff that gets me fired up. And I want to be part of that. I want to be a part of a church that's appealing, that, that draws people in because they're like, there's something different. They've got a huge vision for life, what it means to be human, a vision for human flourishing. Um, that's centred around this person called Jesus that can be personally known. I, I've done a chunk of thinking on this subject of cultural renewal and my opinions have changed over time and I think it's almost been sort of like it's, it's become simpler and simpler and simpler that I believe cultural renewal takes place when people become more like Jesus because as you read through the Gospels you, you just have to conclude that Jesus shifted culture like in the most phenomenal ways, through his teaching, through his storytelling, through the signs and wonders of the kingdom, through his engagement with you know structures of hierarchy. So if we became more like Jesus, we would just do the same. So now, you know, whilst I believe in the stuff of how do we engage in institutions and how do we grow in our influence, you know, in different spheres of society, I believe in all of that stuff, but the foundation level is how do we intentionally become more like Jesus in character? How do we grab a vision for who he is um, and as we become more like him, I think culture gets renewed. It's an age where you begin to ask big questions about yourself, like who am I? What am I about? What do I want to give myself towards? And, and you begin to, to form answers that dictate the rest of your life. Like this is such a pivotal moment, which is why ministry amongst those in their 20s and 30s is so key. Because if you can give them a vision of the kingdom of God, that is enough for them to say, I'm going to give the rest of my life for that vision, then just imagine that possibility. What I love about Shift is that for me, it feels like this sacred moment where a whole lot of people gather together with one real agenda, which is to hang out in the presence of God, have a lot of fun and see what God wants to do. And each of the weekends I've seen people come away with a bigger vision of the person of Jesus, a bigger vision of what it means to be an agent of cultural renewal, um, and just a greater intentionality with, with you know, uh, in which they want to live life more effectively. And that for me is like totally inspiring. So that's what I know of Shift, that's why I love Shift and that's why I'm totally pumped about being part of the next Shift weekend. Okay. Yeah, think, right, yeah. So where am I going to be? 13th to the 15th of July, there is one place I'm going to be. It's on a farm somewhere in Gloucester with a whole load of 20s and 30s probably jumping off um, loads of bales of hay and worshipping Jesus, opening ourselves to the Spirit of God and I expect nothing less than a remarkable weekend.